today finally got some time to get into repairing the broken actuator. I want to take the opportunity to tear this apart and describe what's going on inside. See if anybody has some tips for how to make this better. Again, it's performed well for over a year without any issues. Um, so I do have a couple ideas on how to upgrade the slider inside, but for the basics, what's going on is you got your servo motor. This is an 8020, uh, 600 watt AASD drive, 19 millimeter shaft connected to a um, transfer coupling for misaligned shafts that connects the drive to the ball screw. Ball screw, which is on this welded plate uh, with this flange bearing, providing thrust for the assembly inside down to this linear bearing that rides and keeps the throw cylinder in place. And that throw cylinder, so you have ultimate wobble on the ground in a ball and socket arrangement, similar to a human hip joint. Uh, a little welded one inch steel ball with a couple of tig tacks that have been holding up well. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Again, that's the linear bearing that runs on the shaft. Keep things concentric with the hunt tire system inside. As a bump stop, there is a small, I'm not sure how any of this is gonna look because I haven't taken this out in over a year, but damn, that's a 3D printed, about one inch uh, bump stop. So if this slams all, all the way down to one side, it hits that before metal on metal and binding up the entire system. That's a little squish, shall we say. Then inside there, well, this is how I mounted it to the rig, so it's easy to move on and off. But inside there, you got the ball screw. Uh, focus, you fuck. All right. And in order to get that off, probably I was going to take the servo off. Get that done. Four little screws. These small cylinder tubes add uh, more compression resistance because these quarter 20 rods by themselves are quite narrow in diameter. It adds a little bit more skookumness so when it squishes, I'm not bending the rods. There we go, it comes apart. That's what I'm talking about. So that adds more cross section to those compression uh, areas. And in here, yeah, this part that failed because as this is running there's a constant force pushing up on this connection point and the uh i think they were number 10s i had tapped into this h and plate completely pulled out and sheared that's one problem that's got to get fixed and let's see right, is that gonna come out on its own Hmm. Okay, the ball screw is completely wound up to the top here, so I won't be able to get this out by itself. Probably gonna have to take this coupling off. Oh, where is my Allen keys? Come on, baby. If you don't have a set of these, this is the way to go. Screw that hand turning shit. But, uh, let's see. Easier if you have the one you need. Right three down there. There he is. Take this one off. Ah! That was so close. Coupling, yeah. is the bushing turned on the lathe. Um, you really couldn't find these even from China to go from a 19 all the way down to a 10. Such a widespread. Um, I had to make my own bushing to get it done. But there you go. And this should just spin right off. If I'm looking at this right. And maybe, maybe 
maybe this will come. I might need to put a hammer on it. There we go. Now the ball screw will come out along with the sliding assembly, I'm hoping. So we can look at that. Oh yeah, that is crusty. Oh no! Um, that was the sound of my ball screw completely being destroyed. And there's the reason why this won't come out. <laughs> okay, a lot of different design points here. I thought that this was not going to be uh, take a partable, given the fact uh, it was rushed on the first build. But now that I just completely destroyed my ball screw and all the balls popped out of the casing, um, I'm not going to spend the time to repack this when I can buy another one for ten bucks. So. I wanted to show you. Uh, I wanted to show you what. Actually, these little TIG welds probably can be broken by hand. Um, there we go. Work. I'll show you exactly what we're working with here. So, if this thing comes out, come on. All right. There's definitely some things to redesign. Let it all come out. Come on. There we are. There it is. So, there's the slider. See how hard that shit was to get out. And the ball screw sitting inside this PLA printed piece with these inset, uh, I think they were HDPE runners that ran up against the stainless steel inside with some heavy lithium grease. Again, that ball screw would be in the center. Um, I'm impressed that that pulled out like that. There's no wear on it. I don't understand why it didn't take that. But that's what we got. And the upgrade coming is now going to be this new insert um, that's got uh, instead of the plates it will be quarter inch discs of HDPE actually Delrin uh, which is as an oil based lubricant inside the plastic itself so they won't have to be greased four of them per side that should provide some more positive contact uh, to the inside of this tube to run up and down on at least that's the plan. So definitely uh, screwed myself for the plans tonight to build this. So the ball screw exploded. It's all good. Oh yeah.